dear students uh, this is our 27th lecture on organic reaction mechanism and today we will discuss about aromaticity and uh, aromaticity based on uh, mainly hucker rule uh, will be discussed but in addition we will also discuss craig's rule for aromaticity as you know uh, that uh, uh, aromaticity is the property of uh, cyclic planar structures with uh, pi bonds in resonance which gives uh, increased stability uh, in comparison to other uh, geometric or connective arrangements with the same set of atoms. Uh, it was uh, uh, first recognized by Huckel that an aromatic compound must have an odd number of pair of electrons which can be written mathematically as 4n plus 2 where n is any number 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. So, the molecules uh, which obey this law which is called as uh, Huckel's rule uh, uh, they are said to be aromatic in nature. Uh, for example, in case of benzene if we see uh, there are uh, 6 pi electrons and uh, if n is uh, taken as 1 that means uh, total comes out to be 6. So, because of the presence of these uh, 6 pi electrons uh, the benzene is an example of uh, uh, aromatic compound and uh, you know that this pi electron cloud is uh, delocalized over the whole of the molecule. So, uh, these two conditions w one is that uh, there must be uh, delocalization of the electrons over the molecule and that molecule must be cyclic and planar in nature and must obey uh, 4n plus 2 rule that is Huckel's rule. Uh, those uh, compounds they will be aromatic in nature. So, uh, characteristics uh, which are associated with aromatic compounds uh, as I have told you that uh, a delocalized conjugated pi system must be there. Uh, which is uh, commonly as uh, alternating uh, single and double bond present within a cyclic structure and that uh, cyclic structure uh, must be planar or uh, uh, with respect to uh, all the atoms present in the uh, molecule they should be in the same plane and uh, that molecule may have one or more than one rings present in uh, the molecule. Then uh, number of uh, pi delocalized electrons uh, that is even but not a multiple of 4 and uh, the rule for that uh, pi de uh, delocalized electrons is that it if it is having 4 n plus 2 pi electrons then uh, it is said to be aromatic compound and this rule is known as Huckel's rule. So, uh, as far as Huckel's rule is concerned uh, on the basis of that uh, we can differentiate uh, different types of uh, molecules. The molecules may be aromatic, anti-aromatic, non-aromatic in nature and uh, the characteristics which we have seen in the previous slide these are the four characteristics uh, which must be present in the compound to be called aromatic that is uh, it should be cyclic the structure should be planar and there should be an extended conjugation and the molecule must follow uh, the presence of 4 n plus 2 pi electrons where n is any number 0 1 2 3. So, if uh, the compound or the molecule follows all these four things then we call that molecule as an aromatic molecule or uh, we call that compound as an aromatic compound. Similarly, anti-aromatic are those 
where the first three conditions are met it is cyclic planar and it has extended conjugation but it has 4n pi electrons instead of 4n plus 2 pi electrons so if the compound is having 4n pi electrons and all other conditions they are met then we call that type of compound as an anti aromatic compound and non aromatic is that if it does not follow uh, any of these four conditions so either it is not cyclic or it is not planar or uh, conjugation is not uniform or it may contain 4n plus 2 pi or 4n 2 pi electrons but any of these conditions or all of these conditions they are not met then in such cases we say that uh, that type of compound is a non aromatic compound the aromatic compounds are the most stable than non aromatic and then anti aromatic and same is uh, the because uh, they are the most stable aromatic hence energy wise they have lowest energy than non aromatic than anti anti aromatic so on the basis of stability the aromatic compounds they are the most stable among anti aromatic or non aromatic compounds then an, another type of aromatic compounds is quasi aromatic compounds so uh, these quasi aromatic compounds they fulfill all the four conditions which were present in the aromatic compound and uh, they involve charge delocalization and charge is present within the ring but in addition the uh, compounds they have positive or negative charge uh, is a part of the Hucker rule of aromaticity of electrons. So, for example, uh, if we say uh, this uh, cation, cyclopropylene cation, and this cyclopropyl cation, you can see over here, here n is equal to 0, that means it has 2 pi electrons which can be. Uh, uh, delocalized to this position so uh, this positive charge will move to this position and likewise delocalization is there so this is an example of uh, quasi aromatic compound where you are having a positive or negative charge as part of the Hucker rule of aromaticity similarly in this compound we can see that there are uh, positive charge on both these carbons this can be delocalized to this position then this will move to this position similarly if it moves to this position double bond then this charge will move to this position so delocalization of the charge is taking place and it obeys uh, all the other characteristics that is uh, 4n plus 2 pi electrons then cyclic in nature delocalization is there and uh, this uh, carbocation is a planar structure so this is again an example of uh, aromatic compound but in such cases uh, these types of aromatic compounds they are called as quasi aromatic compounds then uh, here also there is a delocalization of the charge and uh, we will count only this one so that is why this is also an example of quasi aromatic compound and uh, uh, this sucaric acid uh, is another example uh, if uh, we remove these uh, two uh, protons which are very acidic then uh, delocalization of the charge can take place like this and uh, because of this uh, this is a planar molecule cyclic molecule delocalization is there and this obeys uh, Hucker rule also so this is again uh, an example of quasi aromatic compound so dianine of uh, sucaric acid is a quasi aromatic compound so uh, basically all quasi aromatic compounds they are aromatic but uh, all aromatic compounds they are not quasi aromatic so we can say the quasi aromatic compound is a class uh, uh, in the 
uh, uh, type of aromatic compounds. Then uh, another type of aromatic compounds is homo aromatic compounds. So uh, this is a special type of aromaticity and here the compound which uh, uh, follows uh, all the four characteristics of uh, the aromatic compound in addition can contain uh, one or more sp3 hybridized carbon atoms and uh, conjugation is interrupted by that sp3 hybridized carbon atom for example if we are having this cyclooctatetraene uh, then uh, in the presence of uh, concentrated sulfuric acid this is converted into this type of cyclooctatrienyl cation so this homo tripylium cation you can see over here here the conjugation is on the seven carbons only and this is the sp3 hybridized carbon which is the eighth carbon this one shown over here but this structure is a planar structure cyclic structure and it follows uh, huckel's rule six pi electrons they are present uh, in the cation so this type of uh, cation will be called as homo aromatic cation so this is similar to uh, tropylium uh, cation which is very stable and aromatic uh, in nature only difference is that here in uh, this is having seven carbons and uh, there is no sp3 uh, hybridized carbon in the tropolium bromide cation whereas here in addition we are having sp3 hybridized carbon atom which interrupts the uh, conjugation uh, present in the molecule but uh, this uh, three uh, double bonds uh, they are delocalized over the seven carbon atoms present in the uh, cation. So such type of compounds they are called as homo aromatic compounds. Then uh, we will discuss a uh, few examples uh, which follow Huckel's rule uh, cyclopropene uh, this is having two pi electrons n is equal to 0 and uh, delocalization here is interrupted due to S this sp3 methylene group so because there is no delocalization of charge this cyclopropene is non aromatic compound but if uh, we are having the cyclopropenyl cation then although this is having uh, 4 n plus 2 pi uh, electrons that is two electrons here delocalization is possible through the empty p orbitals present on this carbon and because of this delocalization this uh, cation uh, will be an aromatic cation then next is uh, uh, cyclopropenyl a9 this one and uh, this you can see uh, is having four electrons and uh, because uh, this is having four electrons that means n is equal to one then uh, this is an example of anti aromatic compound this is also unstable in nature then cyclobutadiene uh, this is having uh, four n even pair of electrons hence it this is an anti aromatic compound and uh, this uh, di uh, cation of uh, cyclobutane uh, butane uh, cyclobutane dienyl dication uh, this is having two electrons but here delocalization is possible through empty p orbitals of these two carbons hence uh, this is an example of aromatic compound uh, similarly, if uh, uh, this 3,4-dichloro, 1,2,3,4-tetramethylcyclobutene uh, uh, is reacted with antimony pentafluoride in presence of sulfur dioxide gas, then this type of dication will be formed and uh, this is similar to this dication, only thing is that this is substituted at these 4 carbons by 4 methyl groups and uh, again delocalization here is uh, possible and be, uh, because of the presence of empty p orbitals on these carbons 
uh, these uh, pi lactones they can be delocalized and because of this this dication is an example of aromatic compound then cyclopentene ring uh, cyclopentadiene uh, this is having four electrons so even number delocalization is interrupted due to the presence of uh, this sp3 hybridized methylene group hence this is a non aromatic compound then uh, cyclopentadiene alkatiene and because of the presence of empty p orbitals on this carbon uh, it is possible to delocalization of these pi electrons uh, this is having uh, four electrons and uh, delocalization is possible and this cation is planar in nature hence this is an anti aromatic compound uh, whereas cyclopentadienyl anion here delocalization is possible with respect to this uh, these uh, pair of electrons also and this is cyclic planar and conjugation is possible uh, with these pi electrons and that means this is having six pi electrons hence it obeys huckel's rule and uh, that means cyclopentadienyl anion is a aromatic compound benzene we all know uh, this is cyclic planar conjugated six pi electrons hence it is an aromatic compound cycloheptatriene uh, although this is having six electrons uh, it obeys uh, huckel's rule but uh, delocalization is interrupted due to the presence of this sp3 hybridized methylene group and that is why uh, this will be a non aromatic compound then uh, this cyclooctatetraene uh, this is 8 pi electron system and uh, if it is uh, planar then uh, molecule will become anti aromatic but uh, the bond angle uh, and planar structure it shows that it is having a boat shaped uh, structure like this and uh, because of this boat shaped uh, structure the molecule is uh, a, a non aromatic in nature so that means uh, stability is more uh, as compared to the theoretical possibility of anti aromatic compound then uh, some examples of uh, uh, um, polycyclic uh, structures uh, say uh, in case of uh, pentalene if we see the structure uh, this is cyclic and planar there is a conjugation uh, where delocalization uh, can take place but it has 8 pi electron and it follows 4n uh, principle so that means uh, this is an example of anti aromatic compound and if i uh, add hydrogen uh, to this uh, pentalene molecule that means if reduction takes place of one of the carbon carbon double bonds then we will get uh, this type of compound 1,5 dihydro pentalene and uh, this dihydro pentalene uh, if we see uh, although this is having uh, six pi electrons but due to the presence of these uh, Uh, methylene groups the conjugation is not extended to all the molecule whole of the molecule so because of uh, this uh, de uh, non delocalization of uh, the double bonds throughout the molecule this is an example of non aromatic compound and uh, because these protons they are allylic in nature that means these are very acidic protons and uh, they can be easily removed with the base so if i treat this compound with a base we will get this type of dienine and if you see this uh, dienine this is cyclic planar and now this can undergo conjugation with all the uh, bonds present in the molecule and uh, this is having uh, now 10 pi electrons uh, that means this obeys uh, huckel rule also and hence uh, this is an example of aromatic compound so this uh, 
pentaline dienion uh, is a aromatic uh, entity similarly if uh, we are having this type of uh, molecule bicyclo compound uh, of pentaline where we are having this uh, an extra bridge present uh, in this case so this bridge uh, may be of carbon here we can have either carbon or oxygen or nh or nr or ph in all these cases the cyclic structure which is considered for overlapping overlapping here is a planar and sufficient for uh, considering this molecule to be aromatic so this is uh, this is having uh, 10 pi electrons and this bridge head is not involved in the conjugation of uh, these uh, pi electrons so pi electrons they are sufficiently planar to undergo uh, overlapping of all the orbitals present within the same plane so that is why this is an example of aromatic compound either you are having carbon over here or you are having oxygen or nitrogen or phosphorus similarly naphthalene this is cyclic planar conjugation 10 pi electron so this is an aromatic compound and this uh, variant of uh, uh, this is uh, variant of naphthalene uh, which has been prepared by breaking of this bond and introducing one carbon or oxygen or nitrogen or phosphorus into this bicyclic structure similarly if we break this bond only then uh, we will have uh, the this type of uh, structure where uh, this double bond will have e configuration this double bond will also have e configuration whereas these uh, all other three they will have z orientation so because of this that means all these uh, double bonds they are not in the same plane so therefore the molecule uh, is basically a non planar molecule and because of this uh, non planar nature uh, there will be a steric repulsion between these uh, two hydrogens and uh, in view of this uh, this will be an example of uh, a non aromatic compound so uh, in continuation uh, we will discuss some other examples also where uh, uh, we can have uh, different types of uh, natural products uh, where we will apply this Huckel's rule for example azulene uh, this is a bicyclic uh, compound natural product and if you see the structure of this molecule uh, this is uh, bicyclic that means uh, cyclic in nature and the whole of the molecule is planar and uh, this can undergo conjugation 10 pi electrons hence uh, that means this follows Huckel's rule and uh, uh, therefore this is uh, an example of aromatic uh, compound now uh, this aromatic if uh, I move this uh, electron pair to this carbon that means here this will be having positive charge here this will be having negative charge say this type of situation and this can undergo uh, delocalization of the charge like this this goes to this place and this will acquire the negative charge now you can see over here either we can have this ring will have these 6 pi electrons and this ring will have these 6 pi electrons with positive charge this cation tropolium cation we know is aromatic in nature and this uh, cyclopentadiene enyl anion is also uh, following Huckel's rule 6 pi electrons hence this is also aromatic so that means this ionic species uh, will uh, be also aromatic in nature 
uh, then uh, this uh, cyclopenta uh, indine derivative uh, so two pentaline molecules uh, fused with one benzene ring and uh, this uh, is a sp3 hybridized tetrahedral carbon but uh, for the sake of aromaticity uh, we will consider delocalization of only peripheral uh, these double bonds because this bond because of tetrahedral nature is not in the same plane so the planar pi electrons they have sufficient uh, conjugation so that uh, this molecule is a is an aromatic molecule because overall this follows Huckel's rule and because uh, this uh, proton uh, is uh, present adjacent to this double bond being a lilic proton is very SD can be removed with the in the presence of a base and uh, this carbonyl will be generated but uh, this will not be in the same plane as uh, these uh, pi electrons so that is why this uh, carbonyl does not uh, participate in the overlapping hence overall there are only 10 pi electrons which are participating in the conjugation so that is why this again is an example of aromatic compound then uh, the anulenes uh, say uh, we will take this example 14 anuline uh, this is a planar uh, there is a conjugation and uh, 14 pi electrons that means this follows 4 n plus 2 pi uh, rule that is Huckel's rule hence 14 anuline is an aromatic compound then uh, this dihydropyrene uh, uh, this is uh, having 14 pi electrons this follows Huckel rules only thing is that these protons uh, they are uh, hydrated here uh, double bond is not present so this is dihydropyrene formed from this molecule pyrene but uh, these are not involved in the overlapping and uh, planar molecule is having sufficient uh, overlapping uh, which causes conjugation and because of this this dihydropyrene is also an aromatic compound similarly in case of pyrene this double bond is not participating in the uh, delocalization of uh, these uh, pi electrons so only peripheral pi electrons they are counted for delocalization and these uh, are 14 uh, pi electrons these two pi electrons they are not con countered and this is uh, called as non huckel uh, double bond present in the pyrene and uh, because this is not participating uh, in the conjugation uh, then only these uh, electrons they are participating in the conjugation that is why pyrene is also an aromatic compound and then uh, some special cases uh, uh, fulvalines and uh, calicines uh, these uh, fulvalines uh, when uh, three membered ring on both the sides of the double bond uh, uh, the Fulvalines or uh, calicines, uh, they can either be aromatic or non aromatic, but they can never be anti aromatic. So, they are called as aromatic if both the rings they are aromatic, then the overall molecule is called as aromatic. But if one ring is non-aromatic or anti-aromatic then overall mo molecule is called as non-aromatic so based on this so this double bond can either move like this or like this then two situations so this part will be aromatic this part will be anti-aromatic because both the rings are same either this structure or this structure uh, they are similar in nature only thing is we have shown that here negative charge on this uh, cyclopropyl ring here positive charge on this here pos negative charge on this positive charge on this but the structure is similar so one ring is aromatic other ring is anti aromatic 
so that means overall if we consider that means this will be non aromatic in nature then uh, in case of uh, calicine if we consider uh, these two structures now these two rings they are dissimilar so the bond moves to this uh, place to create negative charge on this or it moves to this place to create negative charge on this we have two different structures now so if this is having positive charge this is having negative charge then both the rings they are anti aromatic because this is having four electrons this is having four electrons so that means they are not following huckel's rule they are uh, having four and electrons hence this is uh, both the rings they are anti aromatic and uh, in this situation here this is having six pi electrons here it is having two pi electrons delocalization is there because of the pre presence of this positive charge and here delocalization is there because of the presence of this negative charge hence both the rings they will be aromatic in nature so if this is the situation we will call it as aromatic and if this is the situation we will call this as non aromatic in nature now uh, if we compare uh, that uh, uh, negative charge or lone pair is present on some molecules and uh, which uh, negatively charged uh, pi electrons they are to be countered and which are not to be countered uh, this has to be seen on case to case basis so for example if we consider the benzene anion or pyridine and if we uh, consider these uh, uh, lone pair over here or this negatively charged lone pair over here that means there are total of eight electrons so if there are eight electrons that means they should not be aromatic in nature so whether these are to be countered or not to be countered this is based on uh, the structure of uh, such type of uh, anions for example if you see uh, the benzene anion in case of benzene anion all these six pi electrons they are present in the same plane whereas uh, this uh, negatively charged uh, electrons pair of electrons is present at uh, 90 degree to this pi system that means this pair of electrons is not participating in the total overlap of the molecule so that means this is not going to participate in the overlap so we are going to consider the pi system where there is a conjugation or delocalization or where there is a overlap so that means here these will not be countered towards the aromaticity of the molecule so for the sake of aromaticity that means this will have only six pi electrons not eight electrons therefore this will be an aromatic so this is how we will see for all these types of molecules which electrons are counted which electrons are not counted uh, now for example in case of uh, pyridine now uh, you can see the lone pair here in case of pyridine also is at a, at uh, 90 degree to the overall overlap of the molecule so this will not be counted this lone pair present on nitrogen will not be counted hence this is an aromatic compound similarly in this case uh, cyclopentadienyl anion here uh, the lone pair or negative charge present is in the same plane as the other pi electrons present so this is participating in the overlap of the molecule hence the uh, number of pi electrons present in the overlap are six pi electrons so that means this will also be uh, aromatic in nature similarly in case of uh, furane, uh, furane so in furane uh, there are two uh, pair of lone pairs present on the oxygen 
one lone pair uh, on oxygen is in the same plane uh, as that of the pi system and that will be countered toward the overall overlap of the molecule whereas second lone pair is at 90 degree to the pi system hence this will not be countered so that means there are six pi electrons present in furan also hence furan is also uh, an aromatic compound and uh, then uh, in case of pyrrol you can see that here also the uh, one lone pair present on nitrogen is in the same plane as that of the pi system hence it will be countered towards the overall overlap of the molecule hence this is also an aromatic compound now in case of midazole if we see on this nitrogen we are having one lone pair on this nitrogen also we are having one lone pair and if you see uh, the lone pair present on this nitrogen is at 90 degree to the pi system so that means this lone pair will not be countered whereas this is in the same plane as that of the other pi system so that is why these uh, two electrons they will be countered toward the overall overlap of the molecule hence there are 6 pi electrons which are countered 2 plus 2 plus 2 6 so that means uh, midazole will also be an aromatic compound now uh, in case of polycyclic non benzoid compounds uh, sometimes uh, one more rule uh, is uh, performed that is craig's rule so uh, craig's rule basically uh, tells us uh, that if a molecule uh, which we are considering that polycyclic non benzoid aromatic compound if this is having a c2 axis then we will count the total number of double bonds present in that molecule and if the n minus 1 value uh, is considered uh, that will decide about the aromaticity of the compound the polycyclic non benzoid compounds having c2 axis where n minus 1 is odd compound will be non aromatic if n minus 1 is even that compound will be called as aromatic so these three examples which we have already discussed uh, under huckel's rule we will apply this craig's rule on these uh, for example uh, azulene azulene you can see clearly that it possesses a c2 symmetry so c2 uh, c2 axis is there so uh, total number of double bonds present is 5 that means 5 minus 1 will come out to be even so if these these are even the compound is aromatic in nature then pentaline we have considered so there is a c2 symmetry present in the molecule and total n is 4 4 minus 1 comes out to be odd that means this will be a non aromatic compound then uh, we can uh, see this third example heptaline c2 symmetry is there number of uh, double bonds present is 6 6 minus 1 it comes out to be odd that means heptaline will also be a non aromatic compound so on the basis of c2 symmetry on polycyclic non benzoid compounds we can uh, very easily detect whether the compound is aromatic or non aromatic but uh, on the basis of craig's rule we cannot tell that whether a compound is anti aromatic in nature so these are the references uh, which have been used to prepare this lecture organic reaction mechanism by Z jerry march then some uh, references from uh, the internet have also been used for this lecture Thank you very much.